When it comes to money and influence, you often hear pundits equate corporations with labor. And sure enough, they both spend big bucks on elections, but corporations outspend unions three to one. Are they equivalent? For a look at the face of labor, here's this. Organized labor brought union men and women to Wall Street Thursday, April 29th. The call was for reform, regulation, and reinvestment in real jobs. Grit TV's own labor correspondent Ed Ott was there for a sense of the mood and the direction. He talked to an assortment of participants, from rank-and-file workers to the president of the AFL-CIO. Richard Trumka. This is the first time we've marched on Wall Street in many, many, many years. Is this the beginning of something new, new kind of labor movement? Absolutely. It won't be the last time we march against these guys. Look, they destroyed 11 million jobs and they still don't get it. They're back to business as usual. What are you calling on Congress and the government to do with Wall Street to pay for these jobs you want? Well, first of all, we want Wall Street reform. We want laws to re-regulate them so they can't create another mess like the one they just created. And we're asking them to do three things. We want them to start paying their fair share of the 11 million jobs that they destroy. Two, we want them to call off the army of organizers that they sent to Washington, D.C. to prevent uh, Wall Street reform. And three, we want them to start lending to small and mid-sized businesses so that we can get the economy going and get everybody back to work. I work for District Council 37, advising a lot of layoff workers with uh, what their rights might be. We have an educational program for the workers who still have their jobs. And uh, we're really about trying to organize people to raise issues like this, like we're doing today, so that this struggle can uh, become even momentous. You assist unemployed workers? Yes, we do. So what's it been like this last year? It's been devastating. We've had to uh, just minimally do things with workers, trying to help them to um, uh, make sure that they get the benefits that are due once their unemployment run out. We're working on helping people with simple things like writing a resume, trying to get them more in tune to new technology so that at some point, if they're able to look for a job, that what we're doing in our union, we're able to help them to do that. Stuart, you're the guy that's kind of pioneered collaborations with groups in the communities in trying to organize and grab a new labor movement. This is the future of the labor movement. Our alliances with community groups, people who are close to all sorts of people in this city and in this country. It's the future. We can't just try to do this alone. We have to look for allies, our natural allies are the community groups. I know you move all over the country as a national leader. Where do you think is the, the greatest impact as a result of Wall Street in the United States? Throughout, people without jobs, people who are worried about their jobs, people whose homes are gone, people who aren't going to be able to help send their kids to school. It's everywhere everywhere in this country. Big thanks! As our members come under pressure, they come under pressure because the economy is buckling and people that you would not ordinarily see seeking social services are seeking social services now. As a result of the activities in Wall Street and the loss of the tax revenue, public sector social services has lost about 500 jobs. What that means to the rest of the city, beside the people that lost the jobs, is a loss in services. Loss of services to children, to old people, to working class people, and children that are at risk and adults are at risk. Wall Street's been in the papers a lot lately. What are your impressions about what's gone on down here over the last couple of years? Well, it seems that Wall Street has uh, got a lot of help from the government, and it's about time that they help the uh, union workers out and get people back to work. We can really use it. How many of your members of your union have been out of work over the last year? Uh, right now there's about 3,000 out of work and it's going to take 50 weeks or so before they get a job once they get laid off. So now's the time that we really need to work. So you think Wall Street has a responsibility or what do you think should be done about that? Absolutely. Uh, if the government could bail out the, the big banks, they should be able to help the working man uh, get back on his feet. What are you hearing from people, the working people of this country? Around this country, people are angry. They are hurting. They want their jobs back and they want them now. When you go into communities, and in particularly, you know, we hear that it's a recession, but for so many of our communities, in fact, it is a depression. When you've got 16% unemployment among African Americans, nearly 13% unemployment among Latinos, 
you start to look at this and you say, it is a depression that's hit these communities. People are saying, you know what? They're saying that maybe there's some green sprouts about to bud again, and maybe this economy is turning around. But guess what? We're still in brown fields, and we still don't have our jobs. So people are angry. They're angry at Wall Street, and they are demanding that Wall Street pay for the mess that they created.